Hello, Citadel Church. This is Prophet John Harkey. So glad you took time today to watch this video. So thankful for Rob Lester for his willingness to record this. Uh, we are in the middle of doing our July 4th first ever annual <laughs> fireworks sale. And I say annual on purpose. I hope it becomes a tremendous blessing to you and our church as we beautify this building. Thank you for your support. One of our core values here at the Citadel is relational. What does that mean? What are some of the practical tools that I need to put on my tool belt? Uh, on my relational journey? Because every one of us are on a relational journey. And if you're married, you're on a relational journey. That's the beauty of marriage. Uh, you know, we don't work. It's not good for man to be alone because we grow in the context of relationship. Doors open for us. Opportunities come, not because of giftedness. Not to say that skill and giftedness don't help, but primarily because of relationship. And why is we're being relational so important? Because you can't, do life together without building relationship. And in a practical sense, I, we have, you know, we have, you know, just like Jesus, he, he ministered to the 500 of the masses and it kind of reduced and reduced and they had the 12. You know, in our, in our, in our circle, it, it can become smaller. But I here at the Citadel, I don't want be our circle to just to be our own personal family or even the even the spiritual family. I want us to be relational to everybody in the community. Because first of all, in the city of Tucson, um and in America, we've lost the relational aspect culturally, because many people don't even sit at the table with the family during meals because of our busy life. And then when we do, we're looking at technology. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you why I believe it's important that you hear this. Uh, my daughter, Leilani, is 36 years old. And she lives in Florida with her husband, David. All of you know her, them. And she said something to me uh, a few years ago that was very profound. Uh, during COVID, <laughs> they moved in. And during that time of COVID, we had a lot of time to talk, you know, about stuff in life. And I remember her telling me uh, that dad, you know, she went to Bible college. She got I learned more about ministry, about church, and about life. I learned more going out to dinner with you and mom and the pastor and his wife or just a pastor and sitting around after church, you guys talking hours. I learned more about life, ministry, Bible, everything in those moments than I did the years I went to Bible college. That's why relational rela relationships are so important because of what we learn. Because people teach us things. People, they, they, they teach us and they shape us. They, without, without relationship, we cannot have the fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> we cannot. You can't have the fruit of the Spirit by yourself. <laughs> You can't have self-control by yourself. I'll have self-control. No, you don't. Until you re until someone makes you mad, that's when you learn to have self-control or not have self-control. Or someone 
violates you that's when you know you have something or not in, in the context of a relationship you can't have you can't have relationships in isolation that's the problem and that's why you know honestly acts of mir- immorality without the context of marriage is so so demonic because they break that relational connection between two human beings because it's just about sexuality and it's just about you know my get satisfying my desires and then then we see people as objects instead of human you know and that's a that's a big big stickler for me and so why how do we we ha- and how do we grow in relationships because it's in the context of relationship that we learn how to deal con- with conflict that's practical what's going conflict is inevitable it's in the context of relationships where we learn to love you don't learn to love in isolation and it, and, and we learn to love well we learn to love people that are difficult to love let me let me be honest with you. when when my wife and I are having a disagreement that's when I learned to love well when my wife and I don't see things eye to eye that's when we learn to love well and and, the, and that's why relationships are so important and then the thing with me personally one of my one of my core values is I don't want to treat somebody that comes to the Citadel Church. I don't want to treat a leader. I don't want to treat a member of the congregation, whether they're family or whether, whether like for instance, if I had a fight with my wife on the way to church and then I come in here and I treat her with dishonor, that's not relational. That's demonic. I don't want to, I don't want to pull that card out. You know, I want to have the ability of okay, we'll file that problem, we'll address that problem in in a clear context. But that's where relational is so important. Cuz we do have those moments of disagreement. This is where we and we we do have those moments of heated discussions and arguments. And and part of it is navigating through that the relationships of church because the Citadel Church is not just going to grow because we have a prophetic conference or a firework outreach or a, or a, or prophets coming in or guest speakers or great media and all those are important they're going to grow it's going to grow because of relationships where every person matters whether they don't think like me look like me talk like me whether they are raised within or whether they come come without. And you know, let, let's face it. People that come from outside many times bring stuff with them. Some bring critters with them. We don't want to get rid of the critters, but we don't want to get rid of you, <laughs> you know. You know, and and we got to be very quick to build relationships. And how is that done is asking questions, going out of our way to demonstrate kindness that's a big thing and his kindness is not just expressed with my words but with my body language the tone of my voice you know uh reaching out showing concern being more interested in hearing from them than they are even hearing about the church i want to hear from you what are what are your needs what are your concerns? What are your wants? What what is some place where you need to get free or healed? And this is what it means to be relational here at the Citadel Church. God bless you.